Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the polymer clay charms and creations that I have made recently, so let's get straight into it. So first up I have two animal cupcakes. This one on the left is a bear and this one is a monkey. So for the bear cupcake you can see that it has chocolate drizzle, it's got some whipped cream, a cookie and then some M&Ms and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. You can see that I used some white acrylic paint to paint on the little M's and I actually do have a tutorial on this if you're wanting to learn how to make it. Then this one here is a monkey cupcake. So this one has some dark chocolate drizzle, some whipped cream, and then a banana split on top because of course monkeys and bananas go together. Um, and then it's also got some chocolate drizzle on the banana topped with some chocolate chip ice cream. Again, I did also film a video on this cupcake as well. So I'll leave the link to both of those videos in the description below. Up next, I have a set of flowers cows. So again, I did make these for a tutorial if you'd like to learn how to make them. I had been seeing these kind of creations a lot on TikTok recently, but people were crocheting them. So I wanted to see if I could make some polymer clay charm versions. So this first one is a pink one and it is inspired by cherry blossoms or sakura flowers. So you can see all the detailing on it. The actual cow is pink and then it's got a little flower on its head and also a flower flower bag. Moving on to the purple one, it's got all the purple features, but this one's just kind of like some simple daisies, I guess. This one's probably my least favorite from the set, just because I wish I added a little bit more detail to the actual flowers. And then this yellow one here is inspired by sunflowers. So I do really like this one. Again, I do wish I made the sunflowers a little bit differently, but this one's nice and bright and colorful and cheery. And overall, I really like the way that this little set uh, turned out. Then here I have a tennis cat and I made this back in summer or when it was summer for us um, and the Australian Open was on. So it's basically just a little kawaii cat hanging off a tennis ball and it's got some little purple sweatbands and I really like the way that they kind of look fluffy. Um, and then that's pretty much it for this charm. Another cat charm I have is this blueberry pie cat. So it's basically a blueberry pie with a cat popping out of the center there. So the base, I used a bottle cap and I filled it up with the blueberries and put on the crust. I really like the way that the blueberries are shiny, but the crust is just a matte finish. So it looks a little bit more realistic. And then here we have a very happy looking cat popping out the top and then of course it's got some blueberries dripping down its head. I then have some basic charms which I made for a polymer clay beginners video. Uh, so starting off we have this dog then there is a rainbow shooting star I have a, oh, a pink bow a cupcake, which does look a little bit more pale compared to my regular cupcakes, but I didn't shade the actual cake part because I was trying to keep it as simple as possible. And then we also have this pear charm. Here I have some sleeping animal keycaps that I made for a Sophie and Toffee tutorial. So the actual keycap part is made out of UV resin, but all the animals on top are made using a polymer clay. So these kind of come as a set. This first one's a sleeping cat. So this one has a pink succulent on its head with some sand as well. The next one is purple themed with a sleeping bear and a purple succulent on top. And then I have the blue keycap, which has a sleeping dog or puppy with a blue succulent on top. Then here I have this seahorse charm. I made one of these a really long time ago and I recently remade it for a tutorial, which you can check out. I'll leave the link down below, uh, but it's basically just a flat back charm. The actual seahorse is made using some gray granite clay and then I used some pearly pink clay for the features. I then have another cat charm and this time it is a cat coming out of like a little cake or a funfetti cake I should say because I added some little rainbow parts inside uh, but this is just basically what it looks like. Quite simple but I do really like the way this one turned out. 
Here I have a little Triceratops figurine and this was inspired by someone on Instagram. I can't quite remember their Instagram handle right now but I will pop it up on the screen. I just really thought their version was quite cute and I'd never made anything like this before so this is what it turned out like. I'm pretty happy with the kind of frills over the head. They were difficult to make um, but it turned out really well and I also love the little tiny uh, claws on the feet as well. Here are some waffle cone designs that I made for a tutorial so I'll just go through them each individually. This first one here is inspired by Lotus Biscoff Biscuits um, so this is what it looks like. It's got some drippy sauce and some of the little Lotus Biscuits as well as some sprinkles. This next one is Choc Mint, so it has some chocolate drizzle down the waffle cone, mint colored ice cream with choc chips, and then I also added a little kind of Oreo inspired biscuit with some mint leaves as well. Then here we have the two fruity ones. So this first one is uh, obviously a raspberry or berry ice cream. It's got a little bit of a, um, like a swirl in the actual ice cream part. And then I made a little raspberry using some some micro marbles and then this final one is probably my favorite maybe it's a mango ice cream or sorbet whatever you want to call it and then it's got little mango chunks on top with just some slight drizzle covering those and I really like the way uh, that those mango pieces turned out. I then have three charms from a challenge video and these three are from my number generator video where I mix or combine an animal with a dessert. So this is what I came up with. This first one on the left was the mixture of a sloth and a waffle. Um, so this is the little sloth I came up with. I really like the way this one turned out, especially the shading on the waffle to kind of make the sloth's face and then of course it's got some toppings up in the corner there. This middle one is the mixture of a lamb and a macaron. Uh, lambs definitely aren't my most favorite thing to make out of clay, but I do think this one turned out pretty cute. And then the final one on the right here is the mixture of a dog or a puppy uh, mixed with a s'more. So I decided to make the actual dog the marshmallow or the toasted marshmallow, and then I stuck it inside this s'more here. So this is how it turned out. And there's those three charms together. These next three are actually also from a challenge video, but this was the three color challenge video. So I spun um, like a wheel with some colors on it and it picked the colors of clay that I needed to use. So this first charm here, I had to use uh, red, black, and yellow. So I made a little chubby dinosaur, which is Pikachu inspired. Uh, so that's just what the face looks like with his little mouth and nose and cheeks. And then the scales of the dinosaur. And then usually on my chubby dinos, I do add like three little hearts at the back. So I made those using the red clay. For this charm here, I needed to use brown, green, and orange. So I created a little frog cactus in a pot, and then it's got an orange flower on top there. Again, I do really like how this one turned out. Um, I was going to make just a regular cactus charm, but I thought I would kind of um, try to incorporate some kind of animal in there, so I decided to make the cactus a frog. And then finally, we have this one, which I needed to use black, pink, and gold. So I ended up making this little cat with a pink and gold collar and it also has a little bee sitting on its nose and it's kind of got a shocked look on its face trying to see the bee with its paw up and yeah I don't know how I came up with this but uh, this is how it ended up turning out. This next set of charms was also made for a tutorial and here I have six different little kawaii waffles. So in the video I show you how to make the kawaii waffle and then I just add a bunch of different toppings. So I'll kind of go through them each individually very quickly. For the toppings on this one we have peanut butter, banana cane slices and then also some little peanut pieces. This one has berries and cream with some blueberries in the center and some small pieces of strawberry. This one here is very dessert themed. So it has some chocolate sauce, rainbow sprinkles, a blob of cream and also a cherry on top. This one has a very classic flavor with some maple syrup and some butter. 
On this one, we have some drizzle of like strawberry cream or drizzle, I don't know exactly, and then also some rainbow sprinkles inside that. And then the final one has some chocolate drizzle with an ice cream scoop. The final charms I have to show you for this update are some chibis, which I haven't made for a long time, um, so I was really happy with how these turned out. So these are AFL players, which if you're not sure, AFL is the Australian Football League, so footy in Australia. Um, and these are some players from the Collingwood Football Club, which is the team that I go for. So up first we have the skipper or captain, Darcy Moore, and this is what he looks like. He is also holding a little Sharon and I also painted on well tried to paint on the little AFL logo um, so most of the details on these are painted on with acrylic paint and then the rest is made using polymer clay so here's what the back looks like his number is 30 and the front as you can see I did also try to very roughly add some of the little um, sponsor details and we've also got the Nike logo on the Guernsey and the shorts this next player is Scott Pendlebury. So this is what he looks like and his number on the back is number 10. We then have Nick Dacos who is number 35 and that's what the back looks like and the side so you can see the hair. And then finally we have Jack Ginnivan who is number 33 and you can see he's got his longer hair with his black headband and also the long sleeve Guernsey as well. So they are all the charms that I have to show you in this charm update today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys!